I mean, who else can get away with saying stuff like, sit on my lap, little girl, and tell Seth what you really want. <laughs> Have you been naughty? <laughs> Do you want to feel my nice list? <laughs> Are you a ho ho ho? Do you want me to fill your stocking with something yummy? You know, I, I've been watching you. I know when you're sleeping. Yes. And I know when you're awake. It's just creepy. I mean, it's almost as creepy as Jared. Now, and here's the thing about Jared. He gets sentenced 6 to 12 on child uh, porn charges and being a pedophile, which is ironic because 6 to 12 is also his preferred age range. You know, speaking of which, I, I had a little extra time. I was over in uh, Dublin and uh, I saw a kid on a leash. You guys see that kid on a leash? Yeah. All I can think, because I have ADD and I have an overactive imagination, so all I can think in my head is that I prefer my kids to be free range. <laughs> no, because then they taste better. You put an apple in their mouth, put them on a rotisserie spit, they'll taste just like veal. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, speaking of kids, I don't have any biological uh, kids of my own, but if I ever did, I'd, I'd sit them down. Uh, well, actually, what, what I do is I videotape the birth, because then when my kids come up to me and they say, Daddy, where do babies come from? I can show them. <laughs> Guaranteed not to become premature grandfather, but for good measure. I would name my first born daughter Chlamydia. And hear me out. It's the friendliest sound in the STDs. It sounds exotic, and I can guarantee that no guy's going to come in her until she's 40. Just saying. Yeah, the thing is, getting older, you know, when my kids are 20, I'm going to sit them down, I'm going to tell them all the shit that's going to happen to the body at age 50. Things like you're going to lose hair where you want hair, you're going to get hair in other places. Uh, you're going to have to be on medication where a fatal event is one of the side effects. <laughs> and this is mostly for guys, but when you're done peeing or you think you're done peeing, you're not done peeing. <laughs> Even the exams get more invasive, like the prostate exam. Here, the thing about the prostate exam is, is the etiquette confuses me. I mean, when I get it, do, do I tip after? <laughs> if I really like it, can I get it on like a bi-monthly basis? And if I can get it on a bi-monthly basis, does that mean that Kaiser's a full-service HMO? <laughs> Questions, I think, that need to be answered, you know. But, but Juicy, uh, give a hand to for Juicy Delight, uh, our host. <laughs> uh, this time, our producer of this uh, show. I could have done a show without her. Uh, I, I will tell you, she is right. I, the first time I ever did stand-up was at a place called the Ritz Pub in San Jose. And uh, the first thing I ever did on stage was Ronald Reagan as a pervert. And, you know, I used to do a lot of impersonations. Oh, okay. Some questionable, like, what? It, it was like this. It was like, oh, Nancy, oh, Nancy, I'm gonna smack that ass, gonna smack that ass. Come here, Nancy, I have the handcuffs. That, and the reaction is pretty much, but now we have Barack Obama as president, right? And so, oh, one clap, one clap, that's awesome. Okay, well, well here's my impersonation of Barack Obama. Here's the thing. You'll have to forgive me. Michelle and I had an evil sex last night. So, you'll have to forgive me. If I don't sit down. <laughs> yeah. I got some O's in that. Or, or here's the other one. I got some claps. That's my bad. Now, here's the other one. Here's the other one. Oh, here's the thing. Uh, okay, I gotta set this up first. Hillary Clinton wins the election. This Barack Obama talking to Hillary Clinton. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. Well, Hillary, here's the thing. I was in Cuba, and I picked up some cigars. And I want you and Bill to have them. Okay, that didn't go as well. I'll quit while I'm ahead. Let's talk about the Trump in the room, shall we? Talk about the Trump in the room? Donald Trump wants to build a wall that's so big you can see it from outer space. And, and if he gets elected, 
Canada's going to be building a wall filled uh, with, with, built with empty maple syrup bottles <laughs> just to taunt us. <laughs> this is true. The maple syrup cartel, they actually have a strategic reserve of maple syrup in Canada. We have a strategic reserve of oil. It shows the names of priorities. So, see, in Canada, they just want a really good breakfast. That's what it is. But here's the thing. Thousands of gallons of, of maple syrup was missing out of the strategic reserve. I repeat. Time Magazine, it's real, it happened. Thousands of gallons of maple syrup was missing. So I was thinking about this. Did, was it like a Mission Impossible thing where they, they actually are dodging lasers, you know? Or, or was it one of those things where, where they, like Ocean's Eleven, where it's like, planned out methodically? And then I realized they're Canadians, they just probably let the door unlocked. That's exactly what happened. But, but it's funny because like over the years I used to do different impersonations, you know, different cartoon voices. And I wasn't going to do this, but someone actually recommended that I do it because they wanted to hear it. So you guys want to hear a cartoon voice? Yeah! Okay. Hey, Rocky, why don't we go rub it on my head? That trick? <clears throat> that trick never works. This time for sure! Presto! Awesome. I want to, uh, in fact, I love you guys so much, I want to take you home with me. But, unfortunately, my apartment's too small. But I did get a timeshare, and you're all invited. I got good news and bad news. I got a really good deal. The, the uh, bad news, the, well, the, the news is, I got a really good deal on it. It's in Syria. Bad news. It's an ISIS controlled territory. <laughs> but the good news, it was only bombed once. So it has most of its walls. And, it, and it's a hot climate, so you know, we get a nice draft going through, it's fantastic. And you know, when it rains, the crater becomes a swimming pool. So win win. You know, I, I find it interesting, there's a group uh, called ISIS, you know, Islamic State in Syria. But it's also the name of a badass Egyptian goddess. So for a group that's so anti woman, I find it really interesting that they're named after one. Just saying. Okay. Uh, I, you guys are fantastic, you know. Uh, and if you know anyone that's uh, LGBT, hug them inappropriately long. Tell them they love them. And if you have someone that's homophobic, hug them for an inappropriately long period of time. And tell them, have you been working out? I'll leave you guys with this thought for the day. The best protection against identity theft is bad credit. I'm Johnny Corn. Have a great tomorrow. Another inch of love. Uh, I'm just saying.